Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome to Something Old, Something New Car Rips. I'm Lance and today we're doing our weekly wrap up. This is where I go through all my cards I've picked up for the week, or rips, wherever I've gotten cards, uh, card shop, eBay. I'll show you just what I've picked up for the week and we try to pick the top five for the week. And maybe my favorite card of the week too, if I remember. I usually don't. But first off, we always like to start off with a little pack giveaway and how you get in these little pack giveaways. is you had to comment last week's weekly wrap up with what pack you wanted, I put together some mystery packs of baseball and football cards. Uh, you had to know, tell me what pack number you wanted. So here we go. Do a little. We'd use the random comment picker. And there's my URL from last week. Uh, the, like I said, you had to use the word pack, P-A-C-K. We'll, do, we'll get YouTube comments again real quick. I just did this 13. So we're going to do it. Here we go. Good luck, everybody. And the winner this week is going to be Jason VT Sports Guy. Love, love, love Devers Producers Card. Appreciate the opportunity. We love the Devers card. LLL. I mean, baseball pack 57. Thank you. So Jason wins again. So you picked pack 57. So like I said, I put these packs together. These packs are uh, actually those are 53, 55. These packs are pretty loaded. The baseball ones are at least all right. Normally was putting 15 cards in these packs, and then I was putting these together, and I ended up. Uh, I want. I was aiming for 20, and then I ended up like for 20. Some of these have 22 cards in them. Some have 21 cards in them. So there's some extra bonus hits in these. Each one of these has an autograph and a relic card. Uh, there's also an extra, I think there's like four extra autographs in there. So some of them have two autographs and there's an extra RPA. There's some extra patches in there. I think there's only like three cards that only have an autograph. And they have numbered cards in them, rookies, parallels, inserts. So lots of cool things in there. But uh, So congratulations, Jason. So that'll be headed to Vermont pretty soon. So let's go ahead and get into it. So first off, I... Um, Sunday I had the collectible card club box and uh, definitely had a nice selection of packs in there. Got this Jerry Rice out of the action packs, ABC Monday Night Football, Dan Marino, this Joe Montana, this Brett Favre, uh, Clyde Edwards Dallaire out of the select pack, this J.K. Dobbins, Curly, uh, Rated Rookie, and then this obviously this Jonathan Taylor was the best, probably the best card out of that pack, uh, select pack, Orange Club level, put that in our top five for now. Uh, and then I had ripped open a box of the 1969 Tops complete set break and did not get anything big, so I didn't grab anything from there. And then on, we ripped open the KMG box, the Junior Edition, and got some nice cards in there. This Max Scherzer numbered out of 9.99. There's some Tops Holiday. Got the Joey Bart. It was Jared Kellenick. All right, that wasn't in an order. Out of the update pack, got this Joe Adele, the uh, variation there with the scarf on there. Then we had that awesome. I should have put those back to back. And then here was the two cards they they sent two hits in there with the junior edition, and these are the two hits they sent. The Shell Noisy uh, autograph, and that's an on card. And this Jake Rogers, which is a sticker autograph, but in a patch, and it's actually numbered out of 99, 11 out of 99. So that was pretty cool. Actually, we won't put that in there because we got something else coming up. And then we had the, these two cards were actually back to back. I had a redemption. And this Clark Schmidt, back-to-back. -back. Actually, I didn't notice so later that Clark Schmidt, though, the corner's a little bad on that one. But it was okay because we had this Joe Adele scorching signature autographs, magenta parallel. Unfortunately, I tried to scratch off the back, and it didn't go well, so I'll have to send that one in and hope for the best. Uh, last week, I had this Don Mattingly pack. I had two. It was a mystery thing I bought from eBay. It was 50 cards, and I couldn't get the second pack. Well, I could have got it open, but it would have taken forever, so I just... Someone asked me about it, and I said, okay, I'll share the second half of the pack, the second pack. So this is what I got in that second pack, which is good because I actually had one of my favorite cards that I got in here in there. Somebody commented that they really like these Ritz cards, and there's a couple of those in there. Some 86 style, some nice, this is a Kula, Cola card, and I'm not sure what that's from. Barry, Barry Cola Photography, that's license. There's another Ritz card, 89 Upper Deck Mattingly. It's an all-star card, league standouts. One of these uh, ProVision cards. I love the ProVision cards. This card here, Don Mattingly from, uh, I'm not sure what that's from, Mets Baking Company, Sioux City, Iowa. So, but a lot of that stuff we didn't have on the West Coast, or especially not in Oregon. Here's this is kind of a cool little Hitman. I don't know if that's his, like, it looks like there's a lot of people in the stands in the background, so I assume that's not uh, Little League. I would guess that's, uh, ah, like, maybe like, uh, uh, I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys know what that is. There's a limited edition for Fleur Limited Edition. The uh, or not, not that's not Fleur Limited Edition. I'm not sure what that's from either. It looks like it's a cut card though, because 
You see it's totally miscut off the back there. But this was my favorite car here, this M&M's car, because it's still got attached to Gary Carter. So I thought that was a sweet card. That was definitely my favorite, one of my favorite cards, if not my favorite card out of that whole set, out of all 50 of those Mattingly's. I actually did not count to see if there was 50 Mattingly's. That would probably have been a good idea too. There's a post, some leaf, there's a Fleer Limited Edition 85, 87 Fleer Record Breakers, and this Bowman. So definitely some nice cards for the price I paid, I felt. Moving on to some personal rips. So I ripped open some, uh, just some old wax packs. And I got this Willie Mays and then a couple of fun cards after this. <laughs> this uh, Jose Rio. I thought that was kind of cool. He's kind of like in, a, in the groundskeeper uniform. Having a good time, I guess. And then this Pat Lestache Rookie Cup. It's got the broken bat flying off there. I thought those were two, two really cool and in interesting cards. I bought a box of 2021 Series 2 Blaster Box. I uh, got a, one of my seven years of tops. I think I needed that one for the set. Got a Shohei Otani. And then I got this nice Father's Day blue. Randy Rosarina numbered out of 50. 47 out of 50. We'll put that in our top five. And then I went to Walmart looking for 2022 top series one. They didn't have any, but while I was there, I, was, so I had a bunch of blasters of gallery. So I picked one up. I don't really need any gallery, but look at Joey Bart's chin there. Indian Anderson was one of my printer proofs. Modern artist is Christian Yellick. Mookie Betts was one of the foils. And then this nice, really nice Jackie Robinson. That was, looks great in the foil, I think. And then actually got an autograph in there as well, Garrett Whitlock. So, rookie card autograph. And this must have been from an update blaster. Let's see, it's hard to tell with these seven years of toss cards, but the uh, code is different for each one of the, you know, the Series 1, Series 2, and updates. So. Then open, still opening up a bunch of the... <laughs> Uh, hanger boxes of the 2021 Chronicles. Looking for the uh, looking for the green parallels of the Peyton Pritchards, and uh, I got some Peyton Pritchards, but I did not get a green parallel. But I did get a green green parallel of James Wiseman, and I got a green parallel of Anthony Edwards, and a couple of uh, base Lamella balls. The Crusade is a pretty cool card. We'll put that in our top five. Hopefully, it sticks around. We'll see. Moving on to some. Rips online or eBay pickers or whatever. D Diamond Kings or Diamond Kings. Diamond Princess ripped me the, some Gypsy Queen. Got some nice green parallels. Some PC guys. Got the sweet Jordan Alvarez Tarot of the Diamonds. Ricky cards were pretty good in there. Alec Bohm, Kirloff, Luis Garcia, Joey Bart. Then got this nice Kutch numbered out of the Sepia Tone, numbered, Sepia Tone numbered out of 99, 13 out of 99. Uh, got another uh, eBay. Got another one of my Summer Love 2002 Fleur Ultra. I'm trying to put that set together, the patch set. Uh, then I did open. I went to the hobby shop and got three packs of 2020 Series 1. 2022 Series 1. And he had to open a new box and he offered me the silver pack for six bucks. These were seven dollars a pack. He offered me the silver pack for six bucks. Sure, why not? So I didn't get much in the silver pack, but they're still cool. Really nice looking cards. Oops. And then. One of my packs, I got an auto. I got the autograph out of the box, and it's a nice on-card autograph. And in that same pack, it had the Wander. So, and that uh, autograph's numbered out of 90, 199. And obviously, got the Wander. I guess we'll have to put the Wander up there because that's what everybody's talking about right now. Put the autograph down here. And then this came out of some uh, the grab bag packs. I just thought it was cool because it's got Matt Williams in the Indians uniform. It's got Will Clark in the Rangers uniform. And then also that pack had this Fleer Metal Universe Bobby Bonilla for the Marlins in a Baltimore uniform. So teams you don't associate with those guys. The, the hit of the, that pack was this Dylan Peters. And then the reason I bought the pack was this was on the back of the pack. Uh, nice Tony Gwynn numbered out of 199 Those are $5 grab bags. Then I picked up some singles from the c card shop. These are out of the 20 cent box. Mike Schmidt, 89. Eric Davis, 89. There's George Brett. I thought this was kind of cool. His hobbies and stuff like that. I'd like to meet Johnny Carson, Surfer. Here's a nice Charles Barkley triple doubles cards. He had led the league in triple doubles apparently that year and six triple doubles. And tells you all his stats there. Ken Urbeck and uh, Kirby Puckett. 
Team Ace card. I thought that was really cool. There's your Cal Ripken uh, ad for Rogaine, the before picture. And then you have the Pinnacle Sidelines card, and uh, guess who that is? And it's Robin Yount, big motocross guy, I guess. Did not know that. Picked up this Dylan Cease for somebody else. And then I picked up this Pavin Smith. It's an island card, three-color patch. I thought this was just a sweet-looking card. Paid the $15 for that. And then on eBay, I bought the little lot here. This Matthew Stafford. 2011 Tops Finest. This Larry Bird. And then a Jim Everett rookie card. I wanted to get some packs of 87 Tops football, but they're surprisingly expensive. I didn't think they'd be that much. And they're... I think they... I can't remember what the price is, but they're, they're way more than I thought they would be. I did pick up a, a few packs, but I just went ahead and bought this card. I mean, it's really... This one's really nicely centered, too, and just looks great. Then I... I picked up some Okongus, I picked up this one here, and I picked up this guy here. I thought this was a really sweet card. I mean, it's a sticker autograph, but it's six patch. It's numbered out of 49, 47 out of 49. Uh, this guy is super efficient. I don't, uh, I mean, he's not, he doesn't play very much. He plays like, I think he's averaging like 20 minutes a game, but he's shooting like 70%. And uh, he gets like five and a half rebounds a game. I mean, this guy, I think he's going to get better and better and better. So that's why I picked up that one and this one. And then picked up this for the collection, uh, my Star Trek collection. I thought this was a sweet looking card. Figured, I think I paid 50 something dollars for this. I figured if she, if she was at a uh, Comic Con or something like that, it, she'd probably be charging at least that for her autograph anyway. So figured that was a good deal. I'll run out of room here. Our autographs and our, I guess we got space there. And then another big pickup is I picked up this box. I've seen that he's had this for, I don't know, like a month now at the LCS. It's a 2015 Tops Archives box, and it's a blaster box. It's 75 bucks, but I wouldn't comp this, and this is actually not a bad deal. But, I mean, it's really, I might not open this because uh, it's really, there's only a few cards in there that are really worth getting. There's some short print cards, and that's basically what I think Chris Bryant rookie card is a short print, and that's like, you know, worth a lot of money. There are some nice Will. There's some cool Will Ferrell cars in there. You can get a Will Ferrell autograph in there. But for now, I'm just gonna let that simmer. And I did pick up another box of repacked wax football that we'll get to eventually. And then on Tony, I uh, was in the Tony Black Super Bowl contest, and he asked us to pick the winner, the total points scored, and the and the MVP. And I picked 41 points, and the score was 23 to 20. I picked the Rams, of course, and I picked Cooper Cup as my MVP, of course, and uh, I won. So he has his, his LCS does this thing where you can get a bag of cards and uh, or get an empty team bag and go fill it up with cards, and they charge you, uh, I want to say three bucks, but it might be more than that. It was something like that, and he asked me who, who I was kind of looking for. So I'm hoping there's some great guys in here, hoping to be surprised a little bit. And... See if I can get through this painter's tape, see what he got for us. Nice. So starting out, that's a good one right there. Larry Bird. I don't recognize the set though. We'll definitely put take Larry Bird because that is definitely a PC card. Oh, it's a sticker. So if, well, that is cool. Scotty Pippen, the 9394. Another Scotty. There's a Christian Leitner NBA draft card. There's a Kenil O'Neill. It's got bonus got David Robinson on there. And Gary Payton, the glove. There's a Anthony Spud Webb. Nice card. Charles Barkley. Chris Weber. So lots of nice, nice cards in here. The Magic is back. The Lakers. Mark Jackson. That looks like it might be Isaiah Thomas, maybe. Ah, it's hard to see. There's Alonzo. That's a nice card. Next in line, there's a Michael Jordan. That's always a sweet... And another Michael Jordan. Another Dave Robinson. Carl Malone. There's the Isaiah Thomas over... Oh, there's Patrick Ewing. I always like the basketball. I always have somebody pretty cool in the background. There's a Rams rookie card of Alex Barron. Chris Givens. Janoris Jenkins. There's a Mark Bolger. And a Torrey Holt. Larry Johnson, Stephen Jackson, another Torrey Holt. 
A Trey Mason, that's a nice looking card. He didn't last very long, but there's a Tavon Austin. Well, you know, if we just a few years later, how he how uh Sean McVay would have used him as a gadget player, that would have been cool to see. There's a Shaquille O'Neal for LSU and the Danny Ainge in his Blazers uniform. Signed by the Suns, though, it says right on there. So that's awesome. Thanks a lot, Tony. Really appreciate it, and that was a fun contest. And then we got an unexpected package from our good buddy SW. So I'm hoping this is not what I think it is because we were supposed to work out a trade. Now, here we go. I owed you some cards. Enjoy, SW. So, oh, nice. Should not have looked at the back. Let's see what we got in here. And you didn't owe me anything, SW, but uh, for Super Bowl winners only. <laughs> so here we go. GMA Gem Mint 10 2019 Premium Stock Damian Lillard, the purple, purple disco. That's a sweet looking card. That is a really sweet looking card. It's a nice slab, too. Actually, we got to put that up here somewhere. Forget all space for it. And then let's see what's in this for Super Bowl winners only. So that kind of ties in nice to the Tony Black. So we got Isaac Bruce. Another Isaac Bruce. There's a nice Kurt Warner honor roll. Another Tory Holt. Marshall Fox, some nice, great, greatest player. Oh, I've seen this card before. I really liked it, too. Keys of the City, Mark McGuire, and Kurt Warner. That's a sweet-looking card. don't remember where I saw this at, but I did want this card. Maybe someone had it in the card shop. Nice. Thank you, SW. These are sweet. Oh, a lot of greatest show on turf, guys, from the last Super Bowl. So there you go. That's what I picked up for the week. Let me know. I guess I'm going to stick with those as the top 10, I guess. We'll go with 10 top cards. So I don't have to move things around too much. Lots, a little bit of everything up there. Let I me mean, know if you agree with the top 10 or what you'd put in your top 10. If you want to get into this week's pack giveaway, all you got to do is comment this video with what pack you want. If you would like a baseball pack, like I said, these baseball packs are pretty thick. I got baseball packs 50 through 55 available. Oh, there's 54. They were so big I couldn't put them all in one box. So that's why they're in two boxes. There's a 55, 56, so 58 and 59. So the only one we're missing from 50 to 59 is the 57 that Jason picked up. And then football packs, same thing with the football packs. Each one has an autograph and a relic card in it. They're numbered cards, rookies, hits. We have 70, 71, 72, 74, 76, 77, 78, and 79. So like I said, you just got to comment this video with what pack you want. Make sure you use the word P-A-C-K. Next Wednesday in our weekly, oops, sorry. Next Wednesday in our weekly wrap-up, we'll do the exact same thing. Have a little give, uh, give or the, the, the random comment picker at the beginning. And uh, I'll send a pack of cards your way. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Have a great rest of your week. And I'll catch you next time.